Hi, this is Elizabeth Johnson with Southern Embellishment, and I'm here to show you. I had put pictures of this uh, on the Facebook and um, said that a video would be coming soon, and so I just had a chance to sit down and make a video of it, so I thought I'd take the opportunity and get it done. I, of course, I say this about everything, but you that make these journals know what I'm talking about. It's just so much fun, and I love doing different things and, and making different projects, and so I have been wanting to do this for a long time. I've had the material for a long time, and um, so I finally was able to sit down and take the time to do it. This is a Midori, and it is uh, made out of Tim Holtz wallflower material, and um, I took, the way I made the cover is, I took uh, his wallflower material, I took a piece, uh, which you can't see it, but I put a piece of thin, I have, I buy felt, I have uh, several yards of uh, cream color felt for projects like this, because I've made like the lace books, the sewing books, stuff like that, so I keep it on hand. So I took that, and um, I'll show you the inside as well. And so I put the piece of felt between two pieces of the wallflower material. And then I began to take the elements uh, of the material itself, like here's flowers and greenery. And so I took my uh, sewing machine. It, it has different stitches, and this is like a leaf pattern. So I quilted a leaf pattern around it. The lace covers up the top part of it. Um, on the front... I quilted around the butterflies. I hope you can see that. I hope I'm still in frame. And then around the little pink uh, tab, I put took a little flower um, stitching and, and did that. And then across the front here, just to, to stabilize it a little bit, uh, I used different stitches from zigzag to this little like animal tracks stitching flowers and uh, so this I just around the music I stitched so it, it gave it some stability uh, and instead of using glues or adhesives I just quilted it and then I cut out a piece of the pink uh, this kind of like this piece here the pink and sewed it on with some uh, seam binding that I received. That that and this seam binding I received from Michelle Mooney at Paper Addiction. Thank you, Michelle. And um, so I sewed that around and then some of these lace, flat lace flowers and put on a button heart. I, um, I don't like to put a lot on the front because I like it to lay flat when I'm writing and I don't want to have to fight a bunch of bulky things. So the button I'll deal with. I love, I love hearts, love the button, love the pink. And then I had this pink velvet uh, lace and velvet ribbon trim. And then I took and put two rows, so sandwiched the cover between two rows of the lace uh, on the front, all the way around it. Let me see, all the way around it here. And then trimmed it out on the back also. On this one, I've never done this on a Midori before, but because of it being on the lace and the material, I wasn't sure about the holes holding up that I punched. So I put in the big um, eyelets. And I didn't have little ones at the time, so I put in the big ones, which I like. I like the look of it. And I actually have, uh, I think I have five. One, two, three, four. I actually have five inserts plus the Midori plastic um, insert that holds pencils, pens, whatever, cards, and all that. So, let's get into it. Instead of having the elastic around here like a Medora usually does, I just use the seam binding and uh, tie it. I tie it, which I don't mind at all. What I like about this is I was carrying a leather Midori, which I loved. I love the leather. I love the feel of it. I, I, I just, I love leather, but it was, he it was heavy. And the leather that I had, uh, the person that made it was excellent, excellent workmanship on it, but it was a slippery leather. I had a hard time grabbing it out of my purse without it sliding out of my hand. 
this, even though I've got more in it, more inserts in it, uh, it the fabric and everything about it is just lightweight. It may look big. This is probably about an inch and a half to two inches wide. Uh, and it's as you can see, it's just good and full. But because of the materials, even though it's it's bulky, it is very, very lightweight. And so it's easy to get in and out of my purse. And I like that. It doesn't take up any more room than the leather one did, but it's so much easier to get out of my purse and not it not slide out of my hand or be heavy. So here is the plastic uh, insert that comes from Midori. That side is the zipper pouch. And then here you have uh, the slide-in pouch, which I keep, as you can see, I keep some tags. Of course, I've got some appointments. But, um, and this is my pen from uh, Michelle Mooney at Paper Addiction. She sent me from New Zealand, and I love it, Michelle. And so this is my special middle pen. And then I have a highlighter and an uh, art pencil in there. So several different things in here, but this is how I utilize my Midori so it works for me. Um, this digital download is from Tsunami Rose, and it is her uh, prayer journal uh, digital downloads, and it's just beautiful. I don't know if you can tell how vibrant and colorful the colors are, and then she's got a scripture uh, up here. And so what I did was take uh, and put it on cardstock, and uh, I mod podged it to give it strength and um, and just a nice finished look and to protect it a little bit. Inside, I found and I apologize, I don't have the name of this girl's Etsy shop. I got these a couple years ago, and um, but this says sermon notes, which that I'm avid. I'm an avid sermon note taker during uh, church services, so uh, I have that in there. And there's the other side. I took and cut the paper in half and then mod podged it around at the corners. That's the other side of that. And then the rest of these are made from um, Tim Holtz memorandum paper, which I absolutely love that paper stash. And so I made the junk journal uh, inserts for the rest of this. So we'll go through those. Um, and if you have any questions about how I did the cover or anything like that, just let me know. Um, sewed all these together with a pamphlet stitch and wax linen thread. I had these file folders. Each of the uh, inserts has a folder with the tabs in a different area. So they would kind of line up a little bit. I like that. So this, I copy dyed these a while back. So all of this was out of my stash. And music paper, some stenciling that I got from Yvonne White. Here is, uh, this is wallflower material from Tim Holtz. And I did the material tip ends. Uh, the idea originated for me with Amity Bloom, and then I did a tab up here for the tip end, and this is on uh, uh, baking paper, parchment paper. Here's a half sheet, coffee dye. These were just sheets, and I left a lot of place for journaling because that's what I do. That's how I use it. This is from the memorandum stash, and I made a, and I think this is light enough to journal on, so I left it like that. Here is a uh, hymn from an antique hymnal. Now, I have this one put in. The Midori is made with four elastics, but I took, uh, because I wanted to include that fifth sermon notes book, I took and rubber band two of them together and uh, put it in there. Here's the other side of that. Some more sea dyed paper. I want to show you all the plain stuff rolled out. Here's another fabric tip in. Instead of cutting these off, I just I say that because that's more journaling spots and some stenciling I did on the coffee dyed paper. Music paper, the other side of the folder, and that's the end of that signature. So that's two, I'm not sorry, not signature, but inserts. So that's two inserts. This is also again the Tim Holtz memorandum 
uh, collection. Wallflowers was my favorite. I didn't think I would ever enjoy anything as much as I did that, but when this memorandum paper came out, I, I love it. I'm ready to buy another pad of it because it's just awesome. And then this is uh, some of the ephemera from that and then some vintage lace sent on with a little, got it attached to the uh, file folder with a little heart paper clip. There's the little, uh, I took and coffee dyed this and then just stamped it with a cap with black, black and brown paint just for fun. How about that? Just experiment. Here's a little doily and a tab and then this tag made from the memorandum paper in that tuck spot there with a little uh, part on it. Looking back, I glued that. Looking back on it, though, I wish I would have sewed it on. I don't know what I was thinking, but I wish I would have done it different. Here is two tabs, ta uh, tickets to journal on from the collection. Here's a small little tip in with a tab on the music paper. And I flipped this up for a pocket. And let me lay this down so I can show you. This is paper I made with my paper making machine. So I made a tab out of that. Uh, here's some of the music paper scraps I just put in there to make a journaling spot. And then I had this, uh, this little pattern paper. I love this pattern. And I just made a little booklet out of that to journal in. And here I put a little heart and fabric and stitched that in. A little collage, fabric collage there. Oops. Get my paper. And this is a little tuck spot made out of uh, some of the little scrap pieces from the collection. This is just a piece of music sheet he dyed that I just folded up to fit inside of there for another journaling spot. This is from a children's book, the fabric tab. And then I just layered some uh, pieces of material made of heart, sewed that on with this little, uh, well, the paper clip is actually holding in a tag over here. And this uh, is a piece of pattern paper, but I sewed before I put it in a signature, I took a piece of the wallflower material and sewed it on both sides. There's the other side, uh, just to add some character to it. So that's sewn, folded over and sewn onto that pattern paper. A little lace paper clip with a tag and some journaling behind that. And then grid paper from a ledger. Another little pad. Just paper collection. And I'll probably go back and, and sew on some tea dyed paper onto some of these tags uh, to make them more journal friendly. A little lace and uh, seam binding ribbon there. Here's another tip in from the wallflower material. I am really enjoying the um, the sewing on these journals. I'm loving it. And I just put a piece of washi tape there and made a tab just to, just for fun from that little children's book. Here's some of the stash and the, this is the memorandum paper and the wallflower with a library card. Tuck spot. Tab to open the page. Music paper pocket with a doily and some more of the material. And this is Tim Holtz tissue paper. I had some questions on this of why it seemed to be so sturdy. Uh, and this, my daughter had taken some of the Tim Holtz tissue paper and tea dyed it. And somehow it does make it, it does just seem to be a little sturdier than uh, without that. So that's all we did. And uh, I'm not sure if she baked it or just let it air dry. Uh, but it, it did give it a sturdiness to it. So I made a flip or a tip in with that with the material. And that's the next insert. 
here is an insert. Now what I did here is uh, I had I already had some um, some of the Midori inserts, the regular inserts, uh, and this one was grid paper, which I love using grid paper. And so I just took and covered the Midori with this. I made this cover for the Midori grid paper insert, uh, and I've already started using it to make notes and different things. So. So what I did on here, it's got some vintage lace up here, a little ribbon that says pretty things, all the pretty things. Down here is from the material, Tim Holtz material, and under that's a piece of doily, some lace, uh, and all sewn on burlap to make uh, this little pocket, this little corner pocket. And that's the memorandum paper. And then I made, I took and put one of the uh, tags, I, or I took a piece of the paper, made a tag, folded it up to make this pocket here, and then here I, I sewed it just on the three sides and have a pocket with more journaling cards in here. And this is from uh, this is from a bird book. Uh, this is like the front and side cover, and I just thought that was nice. And then you've got all this journaling places on the back here. So I just folded that up and put that in the pocket on the side of the cover. And then here I had said in a previous video, but um, for just a couple bucks off of eBay, I, I got a hundred or so pieces of ephemera. And they meant a lot to me because they were from Tennessee and areas where my family are at. Uh, they were from the northern states, Tennessee and Ohio and different places. And it was companies that, as a child, I remember uh, having their products. So I enjoyed that. And so I put a piece of that in there. So this insert, again, is just the uh, Midori grid. Well, I cannot get that. My fingers work. And I just take notes and things in that. So I like the grid paper. So here's the back side of that. So some of this little flower lace and um, trim, I should say. And then another piece of that, all the pretty things, ribbon on there. And this is one of Tim Holtz's uh, new tabs. And I tore it off. It was a thick chipboard. I tore off the top layer and then glued it on there. Today is full of possibilities. And here's the last insert. Um, and this is still the memorandum. File folder, music sheet, stone and two pictures pocket, with some of the papers in there to journal on and tags. Here's a paper tip in uh, over top of a some sort of a recipe book chart and uh, some material there. Tip in tag on the other side, little tab. But here's the material from the wallflower paper tip in. This is graph paper. And here is a tip in there. I'm oh, not a tip in, I'm sorry, a tab. A little side tab here, and I made this side with a piece of the paper to strengthen it and make, make it a little tough spot. I used a piece of the lace, uh, sewed it on, and have tags in there. And like I said, some of them, now this one's good to journal on both sides. This one, you could journal back here, but I'll probably go back and, and sew on some tea dyed paper to make more journaling spots on some of them. Just choose the side I like the best and then, uh, you know, as far as graphics and then use the other side to sew on. And then here's a, a tip in, or a tab sewn in. Here's graph paper with a tab just adds texture and more design elements. I love it. And again, no adhesives or anything. Just absolutely set up my machine and sew. How much more fun can you have than that? Tab made out of some pattern paper. And I love the, I don't know how that happened, but I love it. I wish I knew so I could make it happen again. And this is the music sheet with the pocket in it and a little tab and some tea dye tags I had and then I just folded this up 
um, fold this up and then let it just hang over. Fold and the back of that. And so that is my lightweight, full of fun. I love the tabs. Love this Midori. If you have any questions, just comment below. And please uh, like and subscribe. I'll be doing a giveaway in a couple weeks, so you don't want to miss that. Have a great day. Make something pretty. Bye-bye.